and here we have a terabyte SD card SanDisk SD card on the market and a new format right here CF Express for cameras and hi so who are you hi my name is Trish and I work for Western Digital and we're here today at IFA and we're launching lots of different products but in particular the two here that I have in my hand we're now shipping the world's fastest UHS-1 SD card and it's a one terabyte so huge capacity on a small SD card format 170 megabytes per second so it's got uh, just one stripe of connectors in the back so UHS-1 UHS yeah and uh, but it goes really fast for UHS-1 yes and UHS it's got huge capacity exactly and 170 megabytes per second and one terabyte so first to market um, and shipping this so this is now available on the market in Europe Middle East and Africa one terabyte SD card and what's the other card you have here this other card here is CF Express and it's our extreme pro card so we launched this yesterday and this goes blistering speeds of 1,700 megabytes per second. That's really fast. So is, yeah. the, is, it, is it a new new so, standard, a new, so it's new a format? So new format, yeah. So CF Express, if you look at um, six years ago, we launched CFast. Mm -hmm. And before CFast, we launched Compact Flash, which is a more popular format. But now we have the CF Express, which is backward compatible to XQD. And yesterday, Canon launched their one of their pro uh, cinema cameras that has two slots, and both slots are CF Express. That's a C C five hundred uh, C five hundred two. Yes, yeah. And uh, but it looks like an XQD, so it has the same shape. Same shape, same format, but three times faster. Three times faster. One thousand seven hundred megabytes per second. How how is that possible to do it three times faster? Is it different technology in there? Yes. So it's NVMe technology inside. So we're using our experience on the SSD technology that we have to enable our cards to get faster speeds. So this is just a very small SSD? Correct. Using the same technology, but it's a CF Express format. And uh, uh, those connectors that are here that are the same as an XQD, but allow for a lot of data to go through? Correct, yes. Um, what's the difference between uh, is it flash and e NVMe, right? Correct, yes. So what's the difference in this technology? Well, in NVMe, you can, it's much better ability for our, from a video perspective. And with the speeds of 1,700 uh, megabytes per second, you'll have a sustained, much better sustained read-write performance. Nice. 1,700. So that's, that sounds like a crazy high bit rate. Yes. Really, really good um, for raw video and uncompressed. Okay. That's like 9 gigabits or maybe even 10 gigabits or something like that. It's really high, really high raw yeah. formats. Yeah. And yeah. I guess some cameras might be coming with this kind of stuff. Yes, absolutely. And we have um, also seen that Nikon have uh, released a couple of hours after Canon released their host device. Uh, Nikon released an announcement to say that they would be doing the same over the coming months and any manufacturer that launches the firmware um, will allow their cameras to become backward compatible for CF Express. And the uh, XQD are using the flash technology which Correct. is per gigabyte could in theory be more expensive also or is it only a performance issue? Depending on you know it's first to market so the product itself is retailing at approximately 700 euros for a 512 but it is for the pro market so it is for the cin cinema photographer so it is a high-end for a high-end camera. But I think now this could be like a really cool uh, new format that potentially there could be a slot on the side of the laptop and you can add these but now you have another product that you're showing off here yeah. for laptops. So I have here. Yeah. I can give it to you here so I can show you. We have the Extreme Pro SSD. Extreme Pro. Pro SSD, yes. High performance. High performance, yes. One gigabyte per second. So our previous uh, product on this was 500 gigabytes per second. Oh, sorry, 500 yeah. megabytes per second, yeah. and this product is one gigabyte per second. So here the, um, there's a benchmark going on, yeah. and it's showing the speed of 930 megabytes to write, and nearly the same to read. 
Um, so, what's the capacity to price on these? So this one is available in up to four terabyte. Very small, but the four terabyte is going to be a little bit expensive, right? Four terabyte. Well, at the moment we're shipping five hundred gig and, and one terabyte. And the, there's the prices on those. And the prices on these ones, I have a list of pricing. Okay. I don't have okay. the off the top of my head. And this is the previous version. This is the previous version, yeah. And this one is at 500 um, megabytes per second. That's a bit smaller, right? This one is, yes. And this one is um, at 1 gigabyte per second. So if you can feel it, it's quite light. It has flesh technology inside. It has a forged aluminium casing around it. So it's very, very difficult to um, bend or break. Waterproof, no. It is IP55, which is dust and water resistant. Resistant. So it's okay. pretty much can be thrown around and and nice. no problems with uh, nice. your, your what is this? <laughs> so this here is the wireless charger yeah. but it's not a new phenomenon wireless chargers but this one also backs up at the same time so if you have an Android or an I Apple phone you just place your phone on this at night time as you would do typical behavior for any smartphone owner you plug in to charge and it also backs up overnight so backs up to this device so inside this device is 128 gig and 256 gig well so Built-in storage. Built-in storage, and so you can charge and back up at the same time and have your own personal um, backup. And if you lose your phone, how do you get data off this one? There's a micro USB connector in the back here, and you just use a micro USB cable, hook it up to your laptop, and you can just take all of your original videos, photos, and contacts. So you install a little app on Android or A little app pops up, yeah. When you put your phone onto it, it detects it. Recognize the app. Pops up with a little app, and then it will do an auto backup for you. All, only backs up on different files. Right. Photos, videos, and contacts off your phone. Like the ones that haven't been backed up in the previous days. Correct. Yes. Just so. Yes. Yeah. And what are you showing over there? So. Go here. Have a new My Passport. It's a slimmer design, so you can see here. Much, much thinner than the previous versions. So thinner. But Dinner? same kind of hard drive technology. It's hard now. drive inside. Yeah, we've just taken taken the design um, to a different level. So you can see we have three different colors here. We have black, we have red, and we have blue. So the little thicker one goes to four and five terabytes. Correct. Yes. And the small one. Higher. Well, the thicker one as well as USB C as well. This one's USB C. So these ones are for Mac. So the silk, the um, metallic ones are for Mac. This one and this one. All right. Is this the same as a uh, previous? So this is an SS. Yeah. This is a uh, my passport wireless SSD. The, yeah, the same from last year, right? Uh, with the SD card slot. Yes. And you can back up directly on the device. Yes, exactly. So it emits its own Wi-Fi signal, and there's an SSD inside. So there is a 1.3 um, meter. Uh, drop resistant on it, so you can drop it because there's SSD inside. Nice. It's great for also photographers, videographers, exactly. making backups on yes. the go yes. of their cards. You can also charge from that as well. Nice. And uh, are these the same as last year or something yes. happened with these? the same range as from last year. We've got the MyCloud Home and the MyCloud Home Duo. So Has the so firmware updates done a bunch of stuff to these? Like yeah, more and more stuff happening? Yeah, we constantly update the firmware on these to try and improve the, the user experience on the front end. I'm sure users want many things. They want to be yes. able to back up to Google Drive, to Amazon, to everything as they want, you know? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So the, 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 um, the Pro Series would have a lot more functional, functionality than the MyCloud Home and the MyCloud Home Duo. But this, these are introductory um, personal cloud storage for the mass market. They have small ARM processors in there that do like basically like a little small server. Yes, very, very um, simple, very intuitive. And then you kind of can move on then to the Pro Series then, which gives you much more functionality. Um, and more kind of for you know a small business owner whereas these are for really just for consumer entry level first first uh, time to get a NAS so and what are you showing over there so this is WD black so this is a new design so, for a hard drive so our um, our WD black is uh, the hard drive is uh, very very popular with gamers so what we've decided to do is we've decided to take the WD black um, brand and do a gaming brand for um, for our gamers. So pretty much what we have here is, is we've got um, portable hard drive. 
Yeah. And then we have SSD, portable SSD. And then we have desktop. This one is made for Xbox only, and Xbox customers. This comes with three months of Game Pass Premium, okay. which is worth about 30 euros. Um, so we worked in conjunction with Microsoft to come out with this one. And then we also have the WD Black, the D10, which is desktop. There's a, um, a heat and cooling inside it. And um, this also comes with um, four months of uh, Game Pass uh, nice. included as well. And is it the same over here? Exactly the same over there, yeah. What's in the we big one? We just showed us at Gamescom last, uh, last week, or two yeah. weeks ago. And then this is just a... Uh, that was built up for Gamescom last uh, two weeks ago and it just shows in situ all of the products that are, are in, built inside. inside. What, what, what's happening over there? Is it uh, just playing games? They do games, yeah. They're just gaming, okay. yeah. yeah. Cool. So there's a demo, there's some demos there, the guys can just play away, some of our gamers, and then here it just shows you what you get for the three months um, free on the Game Pass Premium. Um, it just shows you there's over a hundred movies um, on the, uh, the WD, Black, WD Black, P10 and D10.